All right, here we are. There's the blue trail, yellow trail, and the red trail, which we're doing next. It doesn't say how long they are. This is uh, Carthage. The trailhead's over here behind the picnic table and cooking grill here. Got a little ball field down there. Nice little place. Two ball fields, actually. All right, uh, red trail brings us on the back side of everything else, so here we go. This is the main trailhead. This is where you get to your yellow, blue, yellow, blues, and blues and yellows, and reds and yellows, and stuff like that. So right past that sign, right down here is the trailhead. So, red trail. The yellow trail is about half mile. Blue trail is about a mile. So, with that being said, here we go. The red and yellow share probably a quarter mile. And again, they're marked all over the place. Easy to follow trail markers if you are looking. There's another tree with a face in it. <laughs> I didn't notice it if I didn't see the pile of apples. <laughs> so I looked for the apple tree and saw that thing looking back at me. <laughs> anyway, blue trail goes off that way, ends here. Blue and yellow goes off this way. Blue, yellow and red goes off this way. They meet out there somewhere. <laughs> So today is the red. We're doing the red trail today. Again, it follows the yellow for a good quarter mile. And I think it loops right back around to the back side of that uh, playground. So, here we go. Ooh, I almost walked right by that. That tree's been there so long rubbing into that one, it put a hole in it. Huh, interesting. That one just got plain speared through. And somehow the other one died. <laughs> Again, Mother Nature, you're scary. This thing off to the left is not a trail. Don't go that way. You're looking for your signs. Again, trails are well marked here, so. And the red one's the last one I need to do here. Another one we could cross off my little guide. This is the northernmost part of the guide that I needed to hike to cross it off so they're slowly finishing up the guide that I've had for three years <laughs> yellow and red but we got a split coming up. Again, you're watching your trees and your markers. Yellow trail goes down that way. And we are taking the red trail this way. What is with the scary apples? That is definitely not an apple tree. That, for some reason, is not an apple tree, but another pile of apples. If anybody knows what's going on, leave a comment down below, because this is starting to get kind of creepy. <laughs> So, yeah, red trail, splits off with yellow, and yellow and red go that way. So here we go, red trail. Yeah, falls in the air. Today's low was 45. Leaves are starting to change color now. 
So it's all, uh, the cold weather's coming, which you'll have about a month of nice, spectacular fall foliage. What in the... <laughs> Sketchiness is going on there. So, yeah. This is actually probably the last hike of the greenery. Because by the time I get out in the trails again, it's going to be another week. So, by that time, the leaves will definitely be changing. They're already starting to now, so... Again, this is the Carthage Park. When the Carthage West, West Carthage area, off of State Route 3, is the park entrance. And this is a bug park. There's like a 40% chance of mosquitoes. So you're going to want some bug spray just in case. If they're bad now, after a 45 degree morning, then I hate to see what they are in the summertime. It seems how it's mid-September now. So if they're about this bad in mid-September, when the morning was in the 40s, I can see what it's like when the morning temps are 60 in the summertime. So I could only imagine. Keep that in mind. Now you know. Bug spray if you're hiking. But overall, huh. At the end of this video, I'll probably give you a park review. Liking it so far. formation over there. Yeah, it sounds like this just circles the playground. Uh, I got a little rock climb up here. The trails here are listed as moderate. So they do have inclines and stuff like that. Huh. Right, where we go from here? That's a shot to a field. Playgrounds right over there, obviously. Let's see where this goes first. It goes high, that's for sure. I'm not seeing any trail markers, so. So this is not part of the intended trail. Cool to look at though. Yeah, we're not gonna go further than this. So there you go. This follows bedrock kind of thing all the way to here. And I see private property signs, so this is not part of the trail, but you know, if you want to walk up on top of the boulders for 10 feet, <laughs> it's pretty unique. All right, yeah, that'll do it for the red trail. You pretty much circle the playground. Uh, I'd say that's about half mile long. Assume when we're done with it, I'm not saying we don't go across there. And, you know, oh, it continues. Yeah, so here. Pretty much kind of play king of the hill for a minute. Look around and... Yeah. Alright. 
we get down off this rock and out in the open and see what's going on out here. With the exception of the people, of course. Right. Yeah, see, there's your trail marker right there. Hopefully I can go around the playground without actually going near people. There's something way down there though. Alright, can pop out here? Yeah, we'll go down that way. So there you have it, that's it. Just curious look over here. Out to this strange field. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the video. Um we'll bleed roll it. The rest of the way, so yeah, that's the right trail. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, I like the park. I give it an eight. The bugs are a little, mm, a little uh, annoying, but as a facilities, yeah, there's some sort of road to nowhere. Here's a park engine from the other side. So yeah, it's got facilities here, playgrounds, three trails. I just hiked them in two hours, all three of them. Definitely a lot to see. Sports fields, a skate park for the kids. So yeah, I give it an eight. Not a bad place. Oh, recommended trail is the blue trail. You got a lot to see on that trail. So, all right, coming up to the public, I'm gonna put the camera in my pocket and say good goodbye. There's rentable space here. That's what I'm looking at right here. There's like a pavilion or something in there. Conference room. Nobody in there, so. Ball field. What looks like it used to be a tennis court is abandoned. Let's look around here. The portable toilet. I don't know if that's the actual restrooms or not. <laughs> Apparently they're out of order. <laughs> Unless you can crap sideways. <laughs> and they got an abandoned, what looks like a uh, tennis court down there. It's been abandoned. It looks like they use the ball field regularly that's maintained. We've got one over here and one over there. That's the main park entrance, the skate park. And me being the only car in the parking lot except for this end where the children are playing. That's why I'm shooting this video on this side of the building. <laughs> so yeah, right there's the trailhead, the trail sign picnic table that's over there in the skate park so yeah they have it so that's the Carthage Park in a nutshell so until next time so here's what this place is Carthage Park Long Falls Park um, Long Falls is a different place. We did the Carthage Park. I'll show you why in a minute. So that's the Carthage Park. Long Falls is right here. You try to find that. So that's our next adventure. And that's pretty much it for up here in North Country. <laughs>